and welcome back to the Red Brick House. Today I wanted to get on here and share with you my finished slipper socks. Yes, I finished them. I'll share what they look like here in a minute. Of course, I know you saw on the thumbnail a, a picture of them. But I wanted to go over a few of the details that I might have left out in the first video. So, um, I think I talked about the yarn that they were made out of. This is a yarn that I purchased at a homestead um, farm, I guess you would call it. Um, they make all kinds of things. They have a, a leather shop and a forge and they have all these different wonderful things that you can make buy that were made you know by hand and they're just lovely. And so I'll share a little bit. Here's the bag. And so if I can get the glare, there's a website there. If you can see it, it might be backwards. I'm sorry if it is, but it's called homesteadfibercrafts.com. And they have some beautiful yarns there. A lot of hand dyed yarns and things, but this yarn was marked. All the label said was that it was 100% um, wool from Sweden. And if you can tell, the cream is a little bit thinner than the gray. And when I bought this, I, I wasn't thinking that I was going to make socks with them. I wasn't sure what I was going to make with them, but I was like, oh, I like this yarn. I'm going to get it. And it was on sale, so that made it even better. <laughs> and so I wanted to make some slipper socks because we live here in Texas and it doesn't get that cold, but we have tile floors. And so they're not heated because like I said, it doesn't get that cold here. We have cold snaps and then it'll get warm again. And But when it is cold, you know, our tile is cold. <laughs> so I wanted something a little bit warmer to put on my feet. And so I thought, well, I'll make some slipper socks. Now, I didn't mention before that these socks are a short ankle sock. Um, I, I love the look of the long woolen socks, but I just don't wear those. <laughs> so, um, you know, I adjusted the pattern to work for myself. And so that's why mine are short, because that's just what I prefer. Um, you, of course, can make your socks any length you want, which is the fantastic thing about making it, you know, yourself. Um, so these socks are a very easy, simple pattern. Uh, I got this pattern from ArnaAndCarlos.com. They also have a YouTube channel, I think also called Arna and Carlos, and they are just wonderful to listen to, and their nerd network is beautiful, and they have a video called The Easiest Sock in the World, which is also the name of the pattern, and it truly is the easiest sock. So if you're a beginner knitter and you would like to try to make socks, I suggest look them up because they are they are great. And they have some videos explaining how they do it. Of course, their pattern is for a long sock, <laughs> not this short ankle sock. Um, so I use the afterthought heel um, method where you mark a line of stitching where you want your heel to be, and then you finish knitting your sock, and then afterwards you come back you pick up the stitches and you make your heel and you can make any kind of heel that you want to that you want to do and so let me show you how these a close-up how these turned out so here they are if I can get it all in there so take a look at the heel <laughs> there is something a little weird about this heel and so instead of it being curved as you can see it's like a square and that's because I added an extra row, maybe two rows in there. And that's because when I picked up the stitches, I had one stitch extra and I was afraid to let it go because I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna lose that stitch or not. So to be safe, I just was going to knit those two, knit two together, then I would have the equal amount of stitches on my four needles because I use double point needles. And so that ended up making the heel a little bit longer. Now, when I finished this first sock, I was like, well, do I not make a mistake on the second one so it looks more correct? Or do I do the same thing as this one so that they're the same? And that is what I ended up doing. So they both, here's the other one. 
So they both have a square here. They fit wonderfully. They fit really well. I'll try to insert some pictures maybe at the end of them on my feet so you can see them. Now I did uh, steam block these, which is just putting them on a towel, putting a damp towel on top of them. Actually, both of my towels were a little bit damp. And then I used the iron over top of the towel and just steamed them for a few seconds. And so I, I love them. I can't wait to wear these. I haven't worn them yet because I wanted to make this video first so they didn't get stretched out or look weird or dirty or something. So those are the socks. And I'll show you. These are the needles that I used. They're just inexpensive needles from Hobby Lobby. They're a U.S. size 2. Because like I said, this is not sock yarn. It's a little bit thicker. So I had to go up quite a bit of sizes. I had to play around with that a little bit to decide which was the best needle to use. You know, when you buy yarn in a box store, it'll have a label and it will show you or tell you on the label the a good size, you know, for you to use for that, that yarn. But this didn't have that. So I had to play around with it a little bit. And they are quite thick. And they are, as you can see, they're kind of, almost kind of stiff because they are, they're tightly woven. But I love them. I think they turned out great. So let me know what you think. And if you are interested in working on socks or if you have made your own socks, let me know how they turned out. Did you love them? Did you start over? What happened with them? So let me know and I will see you in the next video. Bye.